Hello, welcome back to Burnett's Forge. In this video, I would like to take a few moments to talk with you about my process in building a traditional wooden bellows to use on my blacksmith's forge. But before we get started, please take time to subscribe, like, turn on the notification bell, and share. Although I'm in the process of building a new permanent brick forge, this is my current setup. I did not start this project with blueprints. I was unable to find anything even similar. I did find pictures and several links on Pinterest, but nothing specific to work with. I started with some 2x10s that I acquired from the local big box store. I laid them out four wide on the table, secured them with Craig screws, and then cut three holes in the bottom section and the middle section that would be used for the three pieces of the bellows body. The larger section is for access and has a removable door. The two round circles are for leather flaps. Before assembly, the oval hole would be filled with a piece of two by and a Luan flap would be cut. An example is on the left and the pattern is on the right. The Luan would be affixed with a leather strap hinge. There were two identical copies of the set of boards with the three holes, one for the lower level of the set of bellows and another for the upper chamber of the double bellows. Each of the two by layers of the bellows was separated by a piece of birch plywood that was cut to the perimeter of the bellows leaves. These were then separated with an additional section of birch press wood to allow for actuation of the flaps within the bellows. The center section of the bellows was cut the full length to add strength and to facilitate the cutting of a hole for the pipe to fit into the airline that would go to the twir. After all the final cuts were made, the five layers of the bellows were stacked. Additional two by sixes were cut and placed at a right angle to the center piece of the bellows in order to add strength and to facilitate the placement of hinges for the movement of the bellows. Because I began this project in the early spring, I was able to acquire high quality leather at the local Goodwill store. Waist length coats were on sale for $5 and trench coats were on sale for seven. With the purchase of three coats, I was able to acquire enough leather to wrap the entire bellows. For less than $20. I then turned my attention to creating the metal tube for fitting of the pipe to the twir. A hole was cut in either side of the leather on the bellows to facilitate a piece of iron rod going across the under section of the middle set of two bys to facilitate actuation of the bellows. I then turned my attention to building a platform for the bellows. I affixed swing chain from the top of the post to the front of the bellows to keep them level. I initially had put a two before across the top for actuation, but later found an old crooked tree limb that seemed to be made just for that purpose. As soon as the new brick forge is complete, the bellows will be attached. In the meantime, don't forget to subscribe, like, turn on the notification, and share. Thank you for watching.